Ciao friends and welcome to a new SQL BI video about DAX. In this video I want to show you how changing a tiny bit of a DAX expression can lead to terrible performance. So what we will do, we start with a very simple DAX expression, we do a very very small change and performance will go from awesome to just terrible. Now, the video is not about how to make your DAX code worse, but uh, the important thing is understanding what changed in the code, and this will lead us to a better understanding of how the DAX engine works, how auto-exist works, and how DAX handles blank values. Of course, before the end, we will fix the code and make it run better, but most important, we will have a better understanding of why the code became slow and how to avoid the problem in the future in your code. Let's get started. I have uh, our regular Contoso model, so just a regular star schema, and I'm running this code. I define a measure which is nothing but the sum of sales quantity and then I summarize by date, by company name, by color and I compute my measure. There's nothing strange and nothing uh, weird about this code. Uh, in order to avoid retrieving all the values, I just do a count rows of uh, the values and I return the result. If I run this code with the server timings enabled, so we have uh, an idea of the time it takes to run, it returns the result 99,000, which is totally useless. The server timing is 40 milliseconds. I don't see the code here. Okay, uh, just one simple storage engine query that retrieves the value. Now, the change that I'm gonna do is quite simple. I just want to add an if statement inside my simple sum to see what happens. So instead of just uh, summing uh, the sum of uh, sales quantity, we will add a condition before that. So instead of having only sum, we add a condition and we say, well, if uh, the sum of sales quantity is greater or equal than zero, then return the sum of sales quantity. This is not going to change in any way the result. It is still the very same because uh, before I was just computing sum of sales quantity, now I compute sum of sales quantity if that is greater or equal than zero. The thing is, if I run the code now, you see it's no longer that fast. Remember, it was 40 milliseconds earlier, and now it's 9 seconds, 10 seconds, and to return the result. 10 seconds, everything is in a formula engine. 62 milliseconds is the storage engine, but the problem is these 10 seconds of formula engine. And the thing is, if we look at the storage engine queries, there is nothing really strange here. All of them are super fast. So, what happened? The goal of the video is understanding why adding just a simple if statement to the code leads to this terrible performance. And to understand the reason why, we need to go a bit deeper and understand exactly what we queried and what the engine did in order to answer the query. Let's look deeper at the code. I'm doing a summarize columns by date, by company name, and by color. So in order to answer this query, the engine needs to build all the possible combinations of date, company name, and color. How many of these combinations are there? Well, we don't know, we need to count them. So let's look at date. Date contains 2556 values. So 2556 is the cardinality of date. What about company name? That is in customer. Company name, here it is. There are 386 different values. So we have 386 values and the color is in product. So product color, here it is, 16 values. 
So we are doing uh, the cross join of three tables with this cardinality. None of these tables is really large. But if we actually do the math, the cross join of uh, all these values uh, is uh, a bit larger. Where is my calculator? It needs to multiply 256, 56, no, 25,056 times uh, 386 uh, times uh, 16. You see that the number of possible combinations of these three tables is quite large, is around 16 million rows. So each table by itself is a small one, but as soon as you multiply the cardinality one by the other, then the numbers grow quite large. So the engine, in order to compute just this count rows uh, needs to compute the sum for 16 million rows. Let me write it somewhere. The number is 15785856 with commas. How is it possible that uh, the engine was able to scan 15 million rows, compute the sum, then count uh, the values which are not zero, and return the result? Well, the thing is, uh, the engine actually did not compute all those values the first time. The first time it computed the values only for the existing combinations. It ignored all the non-existing combinations. And this behavior is known as auto-exist, and it's an optimization that uh, the DAX engine does when it needs to scan a table and retrieve a possible combination of values. It only retrieves the existing ones. So if uh, we take a deeper look at the code, the original one that only contain sum of says quantity, and we run it. You see that it actually computed a scan of the company, of the sales table, and retrieved company name, date, and color. Not all the combinations were returned, only the ones for which there is actually a value. And this is the reason why it was so fast. It retrieved 99,000 rows, which is exactly the number return. What happens when we add the if statement? Well, by adding the if statement, the engine is no longer sure that only the existing combination will lead to a result. There might be combination of values for which there are no products, but still the measure returns a value. And in such a case, the engine can no longer just scan the table and uh, retrieve the existing combination. It needs to retrieve all the possible combinations, evaluate the code, and then perform uh, its subsequent actions. And uh, the code we are asking for is to compute the sum of sales quantity. If that value is greater or equal than zero, then retrieve again sum of sales quantity. But this needs to happen 16 million times. That is the reason why the code is so slow. How can we avoid the problem? Well, in order to avoid the problem, what we need to do is uh, tell the engine that we are not interested in non-existing combinations. There are actually multiple ways of obtaining the same results. Simple ones, more complex ones, safer one, and less safe one. The engine is uh, so slow in computing this calculation because it relied on strict evaluation. Let's, let me explain that a bit better. The engine needs to compute 16 million combinations, and then for 16 million times, it needs to compute the sum of sales quantity, compare it with zero, and compute again the sum of sales quantity. It actually does not compute the sum of sales quantity 16 million times. It computes uh, once the sum of sales quantity for all the existing combination, but then for 16 million times, it needs to check whether that value exists or not. What we can do is uh, avoid the problem in uh, two ways. The first one is to force uh, eager evaluation instead of strict evaluation. With eager evaluation, we are telling the engine, hey, I'm interested in computing first the condition for all the calculation, and then the result, and then do just a filter later by evaluating when the condition is true. 
and in our case the condition is sum of sales quantity greater than zero so instead of using if i can use if eager by doing that if i run the query now you see it goes back to 68 milliseconds because i forced the eager evaluation instead of strict evaluation by doing that i change the plan that the dax code is using the problem of using if eager is that if you rely on if eager you are basically forcing the dax engine to follow your path and this is not always guaranteed to the, to be the best so i would rather prefer keep if here and just use a regular if statement if you want to keep if you can still force eager evaluation by using a variable so we compute in a variable sum of sales quantity and then we return the result saying well if sales q is greater or equal than zero then returns return sales q using variables this way again we are forcing eager evaluation because the engine will compute sales quantity for all the combination and then do this check which is faster because now it's being saved in a variable again if i run this code it will be super fast because by using a variable i'm changing the evaluation there is actually a better way of solving the problem without forcing eager evaluation and understanding that we can tell the engine that we are not interested in any result that is non-existing to do that we need to understand how dax treats blanks and zeros let me again explain that a bit better and do some undo so we go back to the original code okay this is again the original code and look carefully at the condition i'm using sum of sales quantity greater or equal zero what do we mean by a greater or equal to zero any number is greater or equal to zero any positive number is greater or equal to zero what about zero it is greater or equal to zero and what about blank well blank in dax is the same as zero so blank and zero they are the same value for the non-existing combinations sum of sales quantity returns a blank and blank is the same as zero therefore the condition will hold true whenever a combination is non-existing and this is the reason why the engine needs to scan 60 million rows we can easily force the calculation to avoid blanks by saying i'm not interested in values which are greater or equal than zero i'm interested in values which are strictly greater than zero by doing that i'm telling the engine that i'm not interested in blank values i'm only interested in values that are greater or e greater than zero so values that actually exist this very small change in the code uh, guarantees me that i can still use my original code run the query and again it is going to be super fast you can actually obtain a very similar result by still using greater or equal than zero but by adding another condition if not is blank sum of sales quantity then compute the expression again i went back to the original code but i told the engine that i'm not interested in blanks and if i run the query this way it is a bit slower because i added an additional if but again you see that it is not as slow as it was earlier so among the many solutions this is definitely not the one that i prefer i strongly prefer this one that gets rid of blanks by using greater than zero this is fast it does not force eager evaluation and it gives the engine all the informations that are needed in order to optimize your code your code the right way 
So as you have seen, sometimes it might happen that you made a very small change to your code and the performance become terrible. There's always a good reason for that. And in that case, the reason was the handling of blanks. When you write code and you want to optimize your code, you always need to remember that you need to tell the engine all the information that are needed in order to optimize the code. If you only rely on simple sum, then auto exist and blank removals happens automatically. But as soon as your code becomes a bit more complex, you need to pay attention to these small details because your code will be much faster and better. Enjoy DAX!